Good morning, you beautiful people. Alex Rudd, Mr. Alex Rudd, one of my best friends in the entire world, has been up here now, what, five days? Mm -hmm. This is probably going to be the very first video that you guys are going to see. We've struggled, 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 caught some large mouth. Mm -hmm. This is a smallmouth experience. We are all here today on the Great Lakes chasing some big, fat, spawning smallmouth bass. Today should be a lot of fun. We've basically been waiting. Whoa, there's one right there. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Two of them. Oh. We're basically uh, coming up here shallow, looking for these big old spawners. We've there been out here once already. There are tons of fish cruising around. I'm gonna put you guys on my chest, try to catch some fish, and we'll talk to you guys here in just a minute. Starting out with a hair jig, just to kind of cover some water until we get to one of the juicier spots that we have marked. Um, but basically all we're doing is covering a shallow flat, we're in five foot of water. We have history out here. Alex and I actually came out here a couple years ago and had one of the coolest things ever in the world happen to us. We got to see fish making beds, catch fish out of dust clouds. So fish were spawning, they were making beds, they were doing their thing, and these fish would literally have dust clouds where they're kicking up the sand and the earth to make their bed and you could pitch in there and actually get those fish to bite so I'm very excited for today we're hoping we can catch a couple have a good time out here make some cool content for you guys but Alex has a couple days left Let's see what we can make happen water temps right air condition is right everything is right for these fish to be moving up on beds and if I'm not seeing beds today this is really going to be a true test of what really matters for these fish. Is it water temp, is it length of day, or is it truly just the moon phase, which a lot of people are big advocates of, because everything is setting up where these fish should be pushing up here to spawn, and uh, except for the moon phase. So moon phase might be a determining factor. We shall definitely, definitely see though. I talked to Adam Valley, the Canadian dude. Yeah. That's really where I, that's what that is. I used to use just the regular bug spray. Yeah. That's like up in the middle of the woods bug spray. Yeah. Like when you don't want anything to ever touch you. Yeah. Cause I used to hit my wrist and my neck with it when I go like scout for deer. I got her. Thanks, though. Come on, baby. Check out that beautiful giant smallmouth caught her on a net rig off a bed. I mean, it is like an aquarium. There are fish everywhere on beds up in here. I'll let this one go. Swim right back home. Bye, baby. There she goes. Felt good. There's another one way over yonder on the Chattahoochee. We're gonna see if we can't get her to go. When you're bed fishing this far away, though, you gotta basically fish by feel. I mean, I can see her swimming around like a crazy woman over there, but this one's chasing the other one. They're making right now, making something. Making something. What are they making, Ben? Are they making babies? They're making something. Might be baking a cake for all I know. Bro, that's gonna be dope. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be so dope. Thank you, you beautiful fish. Not on that bed that I was looking at because the bed I was looking at has fish making babies right here. This one was on a little bit further out. Really, really, really quality fish. Gonna let her go. Keep these fish out of the water for as little time as possible. 
they'll swim right back, they'll be healthy, happy, be able to uh, nurse their babies to full health. <laughs> Look at that one's so mad. She's like, get away, get from, away from my bed. Get away. From get away. Me. You don't she's me. like, she's like, this is a neighborhood. You don't belong in these parts. You don't own all this water. Rod and yeah, that's my setup. And Ben has got him one. So yeah, that's what's going on. A lot of fun crap going on. A lot of fish being caught. A lot of fish on beds. And honest God, it don't get much better than this, buddy. No, 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 son, no. Look at this fish, guys. That's a big one. That's a fatty McBatson right there. Oh, damn, right into the net. Good work, dude. <laughs> that wasn't fat. anything for me, dude. That was all that fish. Look at how fat that one is. Dude, that's a big one. That's why she swam right over that net head. She said, ooh, another meal? Yes, please. She's thick. She swam straight over to that thing. Dude, she did. She likes Zeros. Just boop. It's not a long one. Wow. 434. Dang, dude. She's not long, dude, but she dang, is, is she barely. fat. Awesome work, my dude. Thank you, fish. I put them back quick. Right. They go away. Right. Good. Keep Good work, going. man. <sighs> Bugs, bass, and bedfish. That are we, that's what we're dealing with right now. There are fish spawning all over around here. There are fish cruising, which you guys can see in the sand, and I just that last fish I cast out to it came over, ate it as soon as that bait was falling through the water, and that was a little bit better fish. So what we're gonna do, keep on fishing, but I wanna toss you guys up in the air first, show you what we're fishing, explain it a little bit with your eyes so you guys can see what we're fishing. It doesn't make any sense. Toss it. That other one came over to came over to mate with that one. This one was literally feeding on top, and I cast out to it. Watch my other one go away and swim with her buddy. He's trying to track it down. He's trying to get with it. Uh huh. They're trying to make some trying to make some cake over there. <laughs> wow. That's awesome, dude. My arm's sore and it's not even two o'clock yet. We just found these fish a little bit ago. Look at how fat this one is too, boys and girls. These ones that are cruising, these ones that are cruising, not quite on bed, are gonna be fatter. Oh, dude. Look at another fat one, man. Oh, that fish is so fat. Nedrig fell out in the net. So fat. Amazing work. These cruisers are gonna be the fatter ones. Thanks, baby. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Bye. Thank you, baby. Thank you, thank you. So tell me, do you think the bigger fish spawn out deeper or do you think it's bad? I don't know that it matters, but I do think to catch a real big one, we can't catch them with it. Unless they're on it right now. Because all the ones we've caught are big, but they're also pretty skinny. Poor skinny. How skinny? Just pretty. pretty On the water. Uh, yeah, please. There we go. That fish is. That fish is just cruising there. Was she? Uh huh. And then there's two beds right here, a couple of beds right here. I actually saw them with that drone. Wow, that's a strong fish, dude. She's like turned sideways and you can't turn her. It's a really, really fat one, guys. Oh, 
Wow, dude. What a big She did not look that big. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at how fat this fish is. It's like a five and a half pounder, guys. I'm going to toss this one on the live well, which we're allowed to do right now. Yeah. That's a big one, too. Good work, dude. I got to get a picture with this fish and let her go. I'm going to get a weight on her. This fish has such a giant belly. Zeros. He's got a freaking giant back here. I want to fish wide. 547. 547. Lord have mercy. That's a giant, dude. Hey, dude. Turn around here. Show him this double. What a freaking double. Look at that, guys. Hey. Good work. 547. What a mega giant smallmouth bass. Let's get a picture. Guys, what a fish. There you go. Do your thing, big freshwater tuna. What a freak, dude. Awesome. What a freak. Now we get to drink some water, because I'm shaking. Can you believe that? Why would I be shaking after five and a half? No big deal, sure. right? Right. Yeah, it's not like that. Sure, but... Holy smokes. I know I just talked to you guys, but we're smashing them now. We actually found a new patch of beds that we hadn't seen with the drone and we came over here and I just caught that five and a half. What a gorgeous, enormously fat fish. What a beautiful fish. Alex is actually hooked up right now with one. It's just become a really, really magical day. I know we talked about it in the intro about how it could become one of those days that we never forget. One of those days that was similar to what we had a couple of years ago. And it's getting pretty dang gum special. Well, now I just don't even know if he's, if he's gonna make the team. He is not gonna make the team. He's not gonna even be close. Crazy. But guys, one thing I want to say, we are bed fishing. We're seeing them. Not all the fish we're catching are coming off bed. Some of them are cruisers. But one of the biggest things is this time of year, these fish get stressed out very, very quickly. Be very careful. Be cognizant of the fact that keep them out of the water as short a time as possible because it stresses them out less. The faster you can get them back in the water, the healthier they'll be. And more able to, what is it? Fornicate? fornicating action i always just call it bass sex I reproduce mean, it reproduce is. is the word i was looking for uh, but you're going scientific i like anyways sex, let's get back to fishing you like have to let them get it in their mouth but at the same time not let them spit it out oh my gosh dude look at this cast to this one she was like trying to eat that out of this fish's mouth Fish, Look at how big that fish is. What is this fish? Oh, four and three quarter? Zeros. Stay. Yeah, four and three quarter. 475. Look at those two fish going at each other. It's amazing. What a beautiful fish. Thank you. Swim back. Yeah, dude, it's like swimming it down to them, like gliding it into their bed. They like don't care if you drag it to them. Guys, these fish are so aggressive. Alex keyed me into what he was doing. These fish want this bait basically oh, swam into their bed. They don't want it like actually on their bed. They just don't care enough. I don't think the females have come up for a lot of these. These are just bucks that are guarding, which is insane because a lot of people associate bucks with small fish. But these are big, old, Great Lakes smallmouth bass guarding big beds, protecting. And they just want stuff swum, swam, swam into their bed. Job, I wasn't looking for that fish. But it's not the fish you need, but it's the fish you want. Or it's not the fish you want, but it's the fish you need. <laughs> That's a one. great fish comes great responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Here's a way bigger. Mine's still a four pounder. Hold on. Not me. Bingo. <laughs> I swear, dude. 
Oh, oh God. look at how fat yours is, bro. Oh, God. She's a daggum good one. Mine's a daggum good one, too. <laughs> That's how you know there's oh, two up on it. They look at her. Uh huh. She was literally rolling with that other one. Holy. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Huh. That scared me, but that was awesome. That was pterodactyl. It just spooked me. <laughs> Woo. Is that a bed? That's a bed. Sorry. It was already in the air. Yeah. Good job, babe. Hey. Good job. Shouldn't tell my chickens before they hatch, but... There you go. <laughs> Bird dogging with the pink fluke, son. Bird dogging with the fluke? Hey. Yeah, yeah, let's just use enough for this one, and I'll tell you why once I get it in. Okay. I mean, I've only been throwing this hair jig. <laughs> that daggum hair jig. For how dude. many days? <laughs> Five oh, days. Oh, that's funny. I mean, dude, you've been trying so hard to get one of that hair jig. Whew. Finally. That's he a, a giant, beauty. But he's a hair jig fish. Oh, thank you, beautiful fish. Good job, dude. That was good. <sighs> And he come off that boulder with a bandage. Pretty damn close. Maybe they're not, but... Ooh. Did you see that fish come over for that hair jig? Uh -uh. There's another one behind him. Look how big that one is. Thank you. What a hair jig kind of fish. Look at that fatty. These roamers are the big ones. Wow, when she was pinned good. He said, no, it's a light wire hook. Boy, you don't need to worry about that light wire hook. I'm handing them like that. Thank you, fish. That's four and a half, man. Good job, bud. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. There's a bunch of beds in here. Okay. I know. They'll just come in here. That's a big one. Guys, there's a bunch of beds up in here. You can come up in here. There's hundreds, dude. Well, you got me that net. This is a giant, dude. What's up? Dude, there's a bunch of beds. You You're good, man. There's a bunch of beds up in here. You can come fish them. Yeah, I, I got a whole bunch of them marked through here. I mean, dude, it, there's we're, there's we're, hundreds we're, of beds we're, around. Oh, you're totally fine, dude. There's hundreds of beds in here if you want to come up in here. Yeah, they're all over. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. No, I make videos. So, yeah, just having some fun, man. Yeah, we are too. We're just, we're just fun I know most of the tournament guys. I didn't recognize your boat. Yeah, I kind of got out of it a couple of years ago, and I mean, these fish are making beds as we speak. Yeah, oh, they're, yeah. they're not out. There aren't, there aren't any deep beds yet. But. Yeah, I didn't see any either. I mean, we saw a couple up there, and then I cruised over in here, and I was like, oh my word, dude. And, I mean, as we speak, there's just more and more and more. Yeah, another two weeks, and these, they'll be hundreds and hundreds of them. Week. Yeah, like next weekend, it's going to be so silly. Yeah. You're good, man. Catch them. Five and a half, five and a quarter, and countless, countless four-plus pound smallmouth bass. That is going to end the day. It has been absolutely unreal today. We got to see fish coming up making beds. Coming up, really starting to lock on. It was a really, really special day. One of my best buds in the world, Mr. Alex Rudd. We got smashed by bugs and smashed some fish with the Ned bug and had a lot of fun today. So, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything in this video, please let me know down in the comment section below. If you're not already, please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care of Tit Lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.